Yes. Anyone can do that, but not anyone can make an experience. And I um I always take heed that I always try to make sure that it's going to be the best night for anybody whoever came out. And I just got to do my job to do that. And in the evening, I smoke the joints with- That's a hundred percent true. I feel like with DJing, it's like nowadays, you know, everybody's a DJ. I mean, I feel the same way with, you know, I'm a photographer, and I feel like nowadays everyone's a photographer because they all have. You know, everyone has an iPhone, don't realize the technical skills that go into it. So I always respect yeah. when I see a DJ who's like really thoughtful about, you know, what kind of, you know, what tracks they're putting together, the technicalities behind it all and all of that. Right. So that's really cool. And yeah, I mean, it seems like you have a pretty big following, you know, I mean, like we're mm. a fairly young city. Um, yeah. But so how do you think that that transpired from like high school, you blowing up on SoundCloud to now here you are, you, you know, played with all of these major artists. I remember my first college party. Um, I went to Indiana University of Pennsylvania, IUP. It's out near Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. And people know that that's like a big party school in PA, probably like the next biggest next to Penn State. Uh-huh. And um. I reached out to some a DJ that I knew that that went up there, which is also my friend, my best friend now when we work entertainment, like my boss, best friend boss. And uh, we just started playing a party right after I got accepted. So maybe like May, before I even graduated, we started playing in a party. We had a big mansion party the first weekend up there. And then um, that blew up. Like thousands of people came from Pittsburgh, Cal U, all Western PA schools, you know, and got too overwhelming, got made the news and everything. <laughs> so that that gave me like a big boost. That was 2016. So okay. that gave me a big boost in Western PA, which I wasn't really, you know, prominent in before. And then that, and since I'm from um, Eastern PA, you know, everything Western just comes back forward. So I just, just push in. So a lot of schools like in between, like, um, Bloomsburg, Shippensburg, you know, they all caught traction. I started doing stuff with them. Cool. And uh, 2018, I feel like, is when I really started doing, like, like, every year shows and everything for all these universities. And I hate to see that universities close this semester because I had a lot of big things planned this semester. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm sure. And, like, yeah, obviously that's, like, a big part of what you do now, you know, so – as I mean, as a DJ, so that's a shame. Um, You know, how have they played that out with you? Have they like rescheduled you? Like, Um, I mean, a lot of things will be really canceled. It's not like, yeah, you can't, all the universities are shut down. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, I mean, I would just hope that like, maybe, you know, they'll be like, okay, well, we're not doing it now, but next fall, here you go, we'll pick, you know, we'll hit you up for this and stuff, you know? I mean, it's, it's usually, it's always, never, never guarantee me universities either, you know, they might reach out and then might pick another DJ and that's right. fine. So, but since I do have history with a lot of universities, it's, you know, I always, I'm always in the recommendation for it. So it's not more so just them giving me another event. I always be in mind no matter what time of year it is. For sure. Or what year it is. That's awesome. So, um, yeah. So, I mean, so I saw you put out this new video of you doing Drake's new song. And you did, what did you do? Like a remix or you just. Yeah. Uh-huh. A Jersey Club remix of uh, the 2C Slot. Mm-hmm. And I, that's how I also started before DJing. I used to produce like Jersey Club music and everything. Mm-hmm. So, and Philly Club music. And, uh, you know, quarantine got me bored in the house. I haven't released a song in over, I want to say, four years, maybe since high school. Wow. And it's just, I, I was, I had nothing better to do and just made it. <laughs> and we're, we're almost at like a thousand plays in 10 days. So we're getting about a hundred plays a day. Damn, that's pretty good. I mean, that's awesome. Um, So, yeah, and I saw your like little dance video. So, yeah, I mean, I want to hear your music, obviously. And you're are you you're set up for it right now? Yeah, cool, I'm set cool. up for you. Um, yeah, let's like fuck around with it. Like play a song. Let's let's I'll, play. I'll play one that I know. <laughs> I got you. Cool.
You hear it? Mm. I'm sorry. There we go. You're a big Wale fan, so you know, I feel like this is a good song for you. I, I love it. Um, Play Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne, I got you. I love Lil Wayne. Big fan. What's like a top song that like all of the college kids go crazy for when you do? What's, what's like the turn up song? Like Universal, the there's different, there's different, you know. Like, like the go to, like the drop, like turn up. Stuff. Like computers by Bobby Smyrna. Yeah. Uh, no hands by Waga Flaga. Yeah. Stuff Where's like that, that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can rap that whole song. Oh my god, yeah. This, <laughs> this is like my age. So this is one of the greatest albums ever. Thank you. I, oh my god. Can you turn it down so we can, so I can see oh, what you're sorry. doing? No, no, no. I just, I just want to see. Oh, uh, how you flip it? Bro. Oh, you have a nice setup there. Yeah. I just got it hooked up to the surround, so I want to put the uh, big speaker in and blow the house down. <laughs> You know, it's just one yeah, song, and it's really another song, nice. all the volumes and the special effects. Ooh. And then there's tens of thousands of songs. Right. Okay. Uh, um, another person who actually gave me a big break was uh, Pam B. Rock. Um, I started working with him back in 2000. Pam Rock. Yeah, from Philly. I don't think uh, I person who sang Selfish. What? Uh, this song. Yeah, this song went big. I'm going to look at this is this one. This song hit the billboards from him. I've heard this. This is on the Fast and Furious movie. I've heard this. I like this one. Yeah. What's his name? Can you be rock? I must know him because he knows 50 of my friends. But, <laughs> here. but I like this one. Yeah. Um, he, but he was going, when he started blowing up out of the city, I started uh, DJing like a little side of small stuff for our first thing I did was a meet and greet. And uh, I started, he owns a club, he owns two clubs in Philly that I used to DJ at. Which clubs? Uh, Galaxy Live. Uh, well, I think Galaxy Live is now shut down, but it was next to Johnny Blue, like I'm Broad and Gerard. Yeah. I know. And then uh, Galaxy West, and it's in West Philly. Okay. Um, the, the one at Broad and Gerard shut down? Yeah. Was it an after hours? No, it was uh, it was a you know to two o'clock one. It was a regular one. Regular club. I love Drake. I love love love. Do you go to Drake night? Yeah, I've been to Drake. I love Drake night. But then I can't I can't I can't usually go out often because I DJ also, True. and that's usually on weekend. So if I do have an off weekend and then uh, and then I can make it, I'll definitely be there. Yeah, him. Yeah. Um, 
we we all go like in the VIP section in the front because you know um Joe the DJ and his girl. Okay. So it's like the best time ever. Like every month we're like Jersey night, let's go. Yeah, you're famous though, so you can do things like that. Me? The VIP VIP sections. Because we know the DJ. I just said hit me up and you'll come <laughs> with us. Duh. I'm not famous. What? No, you're definitely famous. Why? I see you photographer. You get, you get. I see you photographer. You be with all the celebrities. Yeah, because I'm a good-ass photographer. Personal. Amazing photographer. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I love the Chris Brown song. Did you see the music video for this? Yes, they were uh, dance battle, right? Yeah. Mad hilarious. funny because like Chris Brown kills it, then Drake's like. So like, you see that? You see that? You see that? And Chris Brown is just like moonwalking, like up a tree backwards, basically. <laughs> yeah. Um. I can't wait, man. I mean, you know, we missed South by Southwest this year. Yeah. This is my first time actually going to be there, DJing um, and everything. So. I was gonna be doing press there. That sucks. I was, yeah, no, everyone was so upset about it not happening. Um, hopefully, it'll go next year, though. Do you th- are they going to do that with the artists? Like, change, you know, use it for next year? No idea. Okay. Well, but my man, my manager handles like a lot of the big things. You feel me? Yeah. Like if it's like small in the city stuff, like clubs and everything, I'll do. Right. And my manager is more of like a, you know, a shoulder to lean on when I need help. For okay. sure. So he yeah, always no, handles a lot of paperwork for me when I get overwhelmed. Good. Then so. good that you have a good manager that you trust because that's necessary. You know, it's like a hard, it's a really hard business. Very just a lot of paper, especially since I'm like self employed. Right. And as far as taxes and everything go, you know, you got to keep track of all that good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know. Yeah. Keeps going, okay. So when you go live, when you go on Instagram live, do you ever just do like sets? Have you been doing that? Uh, I've done two this, two since quarantine started. Yeah. But, um, I feel like I don't need to because every DJ is doing it. You know, I understand that I got to be relevant with everyone else. I'm just more so no, just going to make all. sure. You don't at all have to be like relevant with what everyone else is doing. You do what they're not doing. That's yeah. my advice I mean, to you. As for sure. That's what I'm saying. Person. I wanted to. Um, I want to just make sure I'm good after the quarantine. I'm doing like I told you, I reached out to you. I did a lot of reaching out to people. Yeah. So as soon as this is over, I can get right back to work. For sure. You know, this is I've been out of work for a year, month and a half now. Yeah. Because I do this full time. Yeah. So I was trying to make sure as soon as this is over, I can get right back to work and uh, I have a head start. You know, people a lot of people are in practice and not saying that's bad, but a lot of DJs need to make sure they're going to be cool after the quarantine. Yeah, no, I agree with you. I think, like, right now, during the quarantine, it's, like, actually a really solid time to just get your stuff all in order and, like, you know, and, like, plan for everything you're going to be doing. I think it's actually, like, a really good, you know, I mean, it sucks, but it's kind of a blessing in disguise in some ways, you know? Yeah, there we go. But, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just upset, man. It's just like I love DJing. I love, I love making other people happy. I love people screaming. Yeah. You get excited for me for them to have a good time. You know, I like, I miss creating those experiences with people. And uh, like I said, I should be doing more live things. I do have like people who support me. Yeah. And uh, they would want to see me DJ rather than hear someone else DJ. Well, maybe maybe do it then. Like, why not? If, if you're already doing... I mean, maybe not even, like, a whole live stream thing, but um, if you're, like, you know, doing these live Instagram things, like, maybe put together a special event. Just, like, one and not do, like... You know, some people, yeah, they're doing it every day. Like, oh, live stream, live stream, live stream. And it's, like, enough already. But, like, you know, yeah, you have people that support you. Maybe, like, put it out there and be like, this is the day I'm doing this, this time, blah, blah, blah. Bless you. 
Bless you. Thank you. And um, that'd be cool. I don't know what you could take. No, we got a nice little groove going during the interview. You love to feel it. I know. <laughs> I know. It's real cool. Have you um? Have you been watching Day I've on heard, Hulu? I haven't, but I heard it was really yeah. good. It's, it's um. It's a little, it's a little dicky. dicky from like a yeah. Dicky, yeah. A little dicky from uh, Cheltenham. Like, I know my mom's from Cheltenham. Here. I haven't watched the show, but I heard it's really good. It's a good laugh. You've been watching it? I've been watching it, yeah. And uh, it's, uh, he got really, like, like, real famous people in there, like producers and everything, or yeah. artists and stuff. And I actually reached out to one of the producers yesterday. I sent him an email because he was on live and he, just, he Dude, had his phone number. Good for you. See, like... That stuff that you do when you reach out to people like that, that's going to get you someplace it won't get other people. You know, that's special about yeah. you. Keep I doing believe that. those miles don't get fed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, totally. Though. Like, that's, yeah. So, yeah, you hit, you hit them up yesterday and what? Uh, not even a reply. I just sent the email out saying, you know, I actually heard of you on Dave because he does a lot of, um, it's a lot of pop music that's on the billboard. Like, he produces a lot of them. Yeah. And one of my lifelong dreams before I die, I want to get a plaque, like a record plaque, like a platinum plaque. I don't yeah. care who was by, you know, that's <laughs> on my to-do list. So that's why I thought that one to also get back into producing so I can fulfill that dream. Yeah, that's amazing. Good for you. Um, well, you know, anyways, so anything else you have coming up that you want to tell people about? Yesterday I had a phone, uh, a nice little meeting with one of my, uh, clip friends who's also a DJ. He's been releasing music and it's been on the radio now. And That'd be amazing. Yeah. I love that. Um, multi-genre, I don't really care if it's pops, R&B, hip hop. I want all fully artists to contact me. I'm going to produce most of the album, most of the mixtape. That's amazing. And then I'm going to put it out. So That's sick. That's so, another thing. I mean, I was also trying to give back to the city, you know. Yeah. A lot of artists say DJs don't look out for the people. Like, look out for the artists. And I'm, I do agree to an extent, you know, that DJs don't. But, but I, want to, I want to change the narrative. Right. Yeah. No, I want to change the narrative. Totally. I think that's amazing. So, so anytime any any artist ever reach out to me, I always say, you know, send me an email. You know, I check my emails hourly, like hourly, hourly. So uh, I'll get to it by the end of the day. I always make sure I take a listen. You want the feedback? You know, I'll give you feedback. You want to be played? You know, I got to see where it fits in if it could fit in. Yeah. But I always give my artist a chance. I always listen to them. That's amazing, and you know, Philly, I think is in so many ways like we're just such a strong city that like really supports each other i mean we're fucking dicks but like when it comes down to it we support each other and yeah. that's like really what the whole mission of the philadelphia globe is like that's really what we do it's like giving you know providing helping with artists having a platform to sort of connect with each other and just like this creative community that we already have in philly that's like super strong just like uniting it you know what i mean so yeah. i'm like super all for that that's awesome and um yeah so um everybody can check you out on instagram i am dj lil soundcloud on everything spotify everything, everything. you'll send me the links and i'll all. put it all here and then people thank you, know. thank you. yeah that's uh, all. I am DJ Lil on all media platforms. I own it all. So on I am DJ, it's all I am DJ Lil. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So that's awesome. So everyone can find you there. And it was so nice talking to you. Thanks for chatting. This was awesome, and you're amazing. Thank you for having and me. Keep you're gonna make me doing blush. it. Like what you're doing, just keep it up. <laughs> Bed when I figure out, out what. And in the evening, 